Welcome back to Let's Play Dot Hack GU. As you can see from my two compatriots standing next to me, today we are traveling off with both Endrance and, judging by that body language, Saku. So let's first invite Endrance. Alrighty then. And Sakubo, who, once again, you can actually look at her eyes and see her eyes are just a little more on the aggressive side. That's Saku. So, with us two together, can I get any better equipment for Endrance? I think I can. I do believe the sword in the store here is better than his current sword. So let's run on over and see he uses these. That is indeed better. How about armor? Pretty sure they're both all right on armor. He wears mid. Oh no. And because I've already been in a party with Sakubo, we're good on that front. So I have to make my way up here, give Endrance his stuff, and then we can be on our way. Let's see here, I'm giving him this. And I'm giving him one of these. This one. Yes, this one. And we're heading off to Aesthetic Hardships Aster. That like the singular form of Asterix? And then there's this one, which um just kind of a place to go to get stuff. Sounds simple enough. I picked it so I could see Master N's skills up close and first hand. What do you think? I imagine you'll get to see his skills up front first hand. That works. Which do you like better? Clear fields or cloudy fields? I like clear fields. They're ni nice and sunny and optimistic. Huh? I don't know. Uh, cloudy, I guess? I'll buy that. Really? Me too. I had a feeling that we would get along wonderfully. Haseo! I feel a chill in the air. I am uncomfortable. So yeah, this is gonna go about as you'd expect. Now we have to beat the boss, but um, I'm gonna go get the statues along the way. Still have a little bit of a cough, nothing too special. But this means I get to run over here and beat up these dudes. What do I have equipped? I have Twin Blades equipped. Alright. That said, something I wanted to mention last time. Get dang it, attacking. The situation is too high. What I wanted to talk about last time, but I said was probably be best if I held off until another time. Remind me to change that off my, uh, skull. Again? Okay. What I wanted to talk about, though. Do I even have the right enemy target? No, I don't. You! Or you. Whatever. Oh, ah, so many Rengekis! How unlucky for you to have met me. Can't get a word in edgewise. 
Now, kind of what I wanted to mention, though, I think I'm gonna talk through the Rengekis, because I have got to say something or I'm never gonna talk. But, um, it's just kind of the progression of the game, really. Do I need to go down there? There's probably a lucky animal or something down here. Um, character-wise, because the game was a genuine joy to play when you had Alcade following you around. And they removed that for storyline reasons, and so we've got to the point that we are at now. Hey, buddy! Man, Endrance, you are quick! I'm fast, but you're a flash! Hooray, hooray! There you go! Um, I... Which one sells for more, because I'm not going to use them. So they removed that for storyline reasons, but then that also removed... I mean, it gave you a lot of drive to continue playing the game and solve everything, and... I mean, it gave the player drive. But then at the same time, it also removed a lot of the enjoyment from the game, and it would have fit a lot better had they... if they had other characters to fall back on that were a little bit better. But then right after it, they introduce you two new characters. So it's all right, two new characters. That should help things a bit. But no, the ones they give you are Endrance and Sakubo. Now, don't get me wrong, Bo is awesome. But with either of these two in my party, I think I'm just a little... uncomfortable. Which is never really a position the player should be in. I mean, I guess I can kind of understand what they were going for. They're going for more fun. Or not fun, really, but their intention this situation is, too is to make Haseo more uncomfortable. And mission accomplished. Is Haseo being uncomfortable means, well, it's kind of funny. And I'll admit, it is kind of funny. Again, the issue is that they just don't have anything to fall back on. So now Haseo is just uncomfortable on a constant basis. And as such, the player is uncomfortable on a constant basis. I mean, there needs to be balance in a game. I mean, I'll, I'll admit, these are all really well-written characters. They're all well-portrayed characters. Just as a whole, the character lot in GU is very imbalanced, I guess. Um, I guess that's kind of my rant in that regard, though. And I think it was with Alcade in the group, we actually had some real... balance. I mean, you could have your funny moments, you could have your awkward moments, but it really felt good a lot of the time, too. Ow. Now, something else is, um... It's something I feel like I shouldn't have to explain, but so many people have been confused about it. Um, I need to talk for a minute about Sakugo. Because despite being an despite, uh, despite both Saku and Bo being established characters for all of this game and the majority of the previous game, A lot of people still seem very confused. You know, I gotta remember to take Tri Strike off. Skill trigger, skill trigger, uh, da da da, whirlwind? Normal, aerial, so yeah, whirlwind. Those are some big guns on that chest. Not the little things you usually get. But, um, okay, Sakubo. Um, it's controlled by a brother and sister pair. 
The brother is Bo. The sister is Saku. Now, the two are actually twins, but they share the same character. Seeing as Saku is the more aggressive one, Bo tends to refer to her as Big Sis. But yeah, they are just brother. They are just brother and sister playing the same character, and they are indeed not just brother and sister. But twins. And seeing as the seeing the connection twins usually have, it's a little understandable. That an avatar like Gore would attach to. It. So yeah, there's that. Um, technically, the Sakubo character was created as a female character, but it is ambiguous enough that um, it is ambiguous enough that you could believe if it were said that it was male or female. And then on top of that, the character actually alters slightly depending on who's in control. Like you see with Saku, the little skirt thing actually flares out some to look more like a skirt. The backpack is also red. Oh well, I wonder if I have enough chim spheres for it. Please inject chim spheres! Now, those aren't the only two differences between the two uh, between the uh, two characters, but those are probably the more obvious. Like with Bo, his backpack is black, and the skirt thing actually scrunches up, so it looks a little more like shorts. I think we're just about done here, though. We are ready to fight us a boss. I'm gonna sneak around behind him. We all doing all right? Oh crap! Saku's dying. Yeah, a couple for not me. Couple for endurance too. I'm not gonna wait like half an hour for my MP to come back. I don't wanna wait, and I don't have any elevator music to play. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Um... Um... You know what, we're all right to go. Now I should probably change to all of Twin Blades to Broadsword for this one. But I guess I'll wait for a Ringgit or something for that. Like that one! Now since both of these guys have their affection so low, I don't know if that's quite low enough. That stung a lot. Um, that's not what I wanted. Where's my revival? Oh, she's not actually considered dead yet. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on! How long does it take for you to die? Try that one again. I think we're about ready.
Please do a lot of damage. We didn't actually have enough... I don't have enough affection with these two. Oh, heavens. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do. Who needs to be not dead? Killer! Yes, it is. You also lose affection... Um, I'll, I'll just add right now, both of these guys are very underleveled. I'm gonna have to go back and... Is that all you got? I'm actually gonna have to go back and go through this uh, whole area off screen just so I can grind every just so I can grind them up a bit. I just knew you would be a great fighter, Haseo. You're wonderful to watch. I already fought you. I would assume you had first-hand experience with how good a fighter I was. Y y you know what? I'll give that to you. How dare you keep getting in Master N's way like that? Don't think I'll forget it. Um. I'm exhausted. Let's just go back. Good idea. And after battle, you are revived with one HP, I guess. That's not the way out. We need to go this way. We have some more mail, though, so I got that to check once we get back to town. As I was saying, though, you actually lose affection with a character every time the character dies. So I'm... I'm... <laughs> I'm destroying what little affection I already have with Saku. Good times. Got some new news. No, not new news. New forum stuff. I'm up for forum stuff. That actually sounds like the Serenunos event again. Yes. That would probably be the most helpful for us. Okay, that said, we have uh, like 94 new battles in here, so let's see how good that new deck's doing. 67-28, not the... I mean, that's a 2 to 3, that isn't bad. And it's still against shield. Though, snipe is starting to come in. What does it take for the trend to change? Oh, heck yeah. And now we have a place to go. And the title match. The title match against Sirius has been scheduled. Time to head over to the arena counter, then. At long last, the fight with Sirius. I'll invite Pi and Entrance and go register. I'll invite... Seeing as we have a couple seconds to spare here... Before we go in, I would like to check out this one. The Serenunos dungeons tend to be fairly short. 
So let's finish this off. I'm sure the title match can wait a couple seconds. Get this done and out of the get this done and out of the way so we have no worries come the title match. Nothing to hold us back, just the fight against Sirius. The fight to figure out what's gone wrong with him. The fight that Al Cade wanted to fight. Now, the last Sierra Nuno's fight, we were given... was it an egg? you know. I guess we did it. Well, I kind of wanted to show more of the site than that, but, uh... Where did that other guy go? Nothing to hold us back for the serious fight, but the knowledge that the world is going to be destroyed. So I'll ready up, and head over to the next town for the title map. Grinding, double checked our exper double uh, checked our equipment, everything's up to speed, we're up to par and ready to go. Um, now that I go back and think about it, um, you may have been wondering why in the last area I was just constantly casting Repth to get their HP up, despite having a stronger Repth spell, and that's simply because when you have the luxury of time, using the lower tier spell is actually more efficient on your MP, or SP, or whatever. So... The fight against Sirius. The fight that al Qaeda brought us here to do in the first place. And infected by Ida, he's putting so many people into comas now as well. Paseo! Young lady! You're gonna fight Siri. I mean, you're gonna fight Ida, aren't you? Yeah. Um, Haseo, I think I should join the match after all. Huh? You're changing your mind? Ever since my epitaph was stolen, Ida has been gaining more and more power. Al Qaeda and Sirius, all the people who became lost ones. It's my fault that they're suffering like they are. If I hadn't had my epitaph stolen, then Bordeaux would never have... I told you, it's not your fault. But I have to do something, Haseo! I can't leave this all up to others! Listen well, young lady. We're about to fight Sirius, who has been infected by Ida. Epitaph users are not invincible. If we lose, 
even Haseo may not come out of it unscathed. Both Endrance and I are able to use avatars. We're the best choice for this fight. Then tell me, what should I... How about I take over for you? Coon! Adelie, I'll go out there in your place. Coon? Leave it to me. I'll become your sword and shield. I'll watch Haseo's back in your stead. Wait a minute. Weren't you finished with G.U.? Yeah, well, I thought I was. But you know, I just can't leave a delicate young girl when she's in trouble. Seeing as I'm such a gentleman and all. <laughs> delicate? Where do you see a delicate young girl in this group? Hey! To be perfectly honest, I still don't agree with how Yada and the CC Corp are handling this whole situation. <sighs> but I realize now that leaving GU isn't going to help change anything. I need to keep fighting and fighting until the world becomes a safe online game again. I know now that's all I can do. And that's why, Haseo, I've decided I'm going to bet on you. You see, Haseo, I always thought you were, how do I put this, too self-centered. <sighs> but, if you really didn't have any consideration for others, Syllabus and Gaspard would never look up to you like they do. As you are now, you just might have the power and the kindness needed to destroy Ida. That's why I'm placing my abilities in your hands. Kun. What is this? Some special male bonding power thing? Anyway, that's how it is, Pi. I'm sorry, but... You're not going to budge on this, are you? Fine. This delicate young girl will sit back and play support. <laughs> Thanks, Pi. But in exchange, you better defeat them. Got that? Of course. Not only that, we'll heal Adelie, too. That's right. We're gonna heal Adelie. We'll make it so she can laugh in this world once again. I'll invite Kuhn in entrance and go register at the arena counter. A change of the t a change of our group. We already have entrance, and Kuhn is ready and able. All right, lady, the roster's changed, but we're still doing this. Not only are we here to fight Sirius, but if you recall, al said he was accompanied by, as she put it, the winged man and the naked man. Azure Balmung and Azure Orca. Orca of the Azure Sky and Balmung of the Azure Sea, the descendants of Fianna. and their connection to Tri-Edge. We're going to learn a lot in this match, one way or the other. <laughs> 